Welcome to um, introduction on Serenity. Uh, Serenity is a Plex Media Server um, client, so you do need to have a Plex Media Server um, client uh, um, server running. It will run on Google TV, and it's primarily designed for that. But it also works um, just as well on tablets and phones that have a um, high density um, screen. Um, the first time you launch Serenity, you'll get a just the settings menu, and you need to go through and do some settings um, setup. So select the settings um, option and you'll get the settings screen and from there you can go through and select either discovered servers if it has gone through and found any Plex Media servers um, on on your network or you can go through and manually enter in the preferred server IP address for your Plex Media server. So in our case we'll go ahead and enter in That's where our location of our server is at. You hit enter. Um, from the settings screens, you can also go through and change the server port if it is necessary. Um, most people should be able to have the default port. Um, Serenity does go through and support the use of external players. Um, this is for those cases on tablets and stuff where you may not have all the necessary video codecs to play your um, videos or your audio files. Um, if this is the case, you can go through and select external player and Serenity will go through and use an external player like Vimu or Avia player on the Google TV or the, um, like MX player um, on the on a tablet. Um, in some cases the Google TV doesn't go through and um, supply the correct uh, display aspect ratio um, so you may want to go, th go through and always prefer the Plex um, aspect ratio that the Plex Media Server calculates if so, just go ahead and select um, for uh, Plex Aspect Ratio. And that is all the basic setups um, settings that currently Serenity um, has, has available. So once you go through and set this, go ahead and back out of this menu. And Serenity will go out and then go through and fetch the menu items um, from the Plex Media server um, that are available. Um, currently, Serenity only goes through and supports movies and TV shows. Music and photos will be added at a later date. Um, if the length of the movie of the menu item is too long, um, you will get a scrolling marquee as of version 1.1.0 of Serenity. So it's a pretty simple interface to navigate around. You just move left and right to navigate through the menu. The background images will go ahead and change as it na navigates. Um, searching is available, um, this is for movies, so you can go through and search, and then you can always get back to the settings going through the settings menu. Um, in addition to the settings um, items, one can go through and clear the data cache by pressing the menu key on your remote. Um, this will give you an options menu where you can go through and bring up the about, um, you can clear the image cache, and you can also get back to the settings um, menu. Uh, for all right, after you've set up the um, menus within Serenity and your settings, um, you can have options to go through and do movies or TV shows. Um, so we're going to take a look at the movies browser um, right now. Now we just go ahead and select that um, by on your remote control hitting the D-pad, or um, if you're on a tablet, just go ahead and um, touch the um, menu item. And this will go through and go out to Plex and bring up the list of movies that are available on your system. Um, some people have very large um, libraries of movies, so um, you can do some quick navigation through your um, library by going through, if you have a keyboard, um, you can hit F to go skip ahead um, 10 items, or you can hit R to um, reverse it by 10 items. So we'll go ahead. If you're on a remote control, you can hit the um, the skip forward button on your remote control and that will skip you ahead by 10 items and hit the skip back um, button and you'll go through and reverse um, by 10 items. For people on tablets um, it's not as critical because you can fling through it and navigate through the um, items that way uh, but if you've got a large video library and you're using a Google TV device uh, you either use F or R um, to skip forward and um, skip back. So that we can hit F 
and hit R and it'll take you right back to the um, items. Um, the movie browser itself also provides some context menu items that you can go through and use on various videos. Um, you can hit long press on the video poster to bring up this context menu or you can hit C on your on your um, keyboard or on your remote control if you have a um, Google TV remote. So C will bring this up. You'll get a couple options like toggle the watch status, you can toggle it on or off, or if you want to you can also um, download a, a copy of the video um, to your device. Um, be warned that if you are downloading a movie any of these files are not transcoded and so they can be quite large so make sure you have enough space on the device that you're going through and downloading it to. Uh, you hit back to get out of that. Um, if you want to go through and filter the um, video library um, you can. Um, you can go up to the uh, category for all movies. That's the default that, comes, that it starts up with. Uh, if you select it you can then go through and get the list of all the available categories. You can select like view them by unwatched, um, recently released, recently added, re recently viewed, um, on deck, um, by collection and genres. Um, the available options that you will have here will be based off of what Plex has gone through and and, and determined um, are the available categories for you. Like so for a genre, um, you may only have a limited set of um, items. In here, we, for us, we have action, adventure, biographical, comedy, drama. Again, this list is going to be based off of what your movie collection um, provides. So if you selected something like documentary, um, you can bring up a um, list of the documentary um, items that you have out there. So if you want to go back to the all, all movies, just go back up and select it. And Plex will go, and Serenity will go out and select the items from the Plex um, media server and provide a, provide a list for you. Um, you can play a movie just by selecting it with your D pad um, center button, or just hit um, enter on the remote, or just click it on the um, remote control as well. Um, the main screen, as you navigate left and right through it, again, the background images will go through and change. Um, these are all fetched from Plex, so you can go through the Plex web interface and change these. Um, the content information is also based off your videos. Um, the left leftmost icon in that um, bottom row there is a um, indicator of whether a movie's been watched or not. Um, these right now have been watched, so if you want to toggle that, you can select the context menu and then select toggle watch status. And the one with the arrow in there indicates that there is a um, that it needs to be played and it hasn't been been watched yet. Um, the other icons in there are all um, the audio format that it's in, the number of channels, the screen, the resolution of the um, image uh, with a standard definition, high definition, 720p, 1080p, um, the aspect ratio, and then the um, rating for the MPP, MPAA rating for the um, for the movie. So, um, that is basically it for the uh, movie browser. Um, it's pretty straightforward here and you can go through and navigate um, through your items and um, browse and play them back this way. If you have set up an external player it will go through and launch the external player. If you um, have not set up the external player, then it will use an internal player. Um, we are running through a Google TV emulator right now, so um, fortunately that does not have playback capabilities within it, so I can't go through and show the, the playback, but you'll get, if you use an internal player, you'll get um, you'll get a on-screen display with additional information, like the title of the movie, the um, brief summary of the movie, and you'll get a poster image as well as you'll get navigation controls for pausing and um, playing the video, skipping forward and skipping back. Um, it does go through and support the resume option that a Plex Media Service, so as, you, as the video is playing, it will go through and update um, the video playback position so that we get, when you relaunch it later on, it will pop up a dialog to ask you whether you want to resume or restart the um, video from, from the beginning. 
So that is the movie browser portion of um, Serenity. The next option we'll take a look at will be the TV show um, browser. Alright, the um, TV shows will be what we'll go through next year. Um, they are always indicated by the same icon um, in the background, so your menu item may be named a little bit differently, but it will indicate the uh, the background image and it will indicate the um, type of sh option you're going through and selecting. So we're going to go through and select the TV shows. And this brings up a list of all your TV shows. You'll get the content rating, you'll get the title of the show. Um, a banner image down at the bottom indicates the t show, and then you also get a poster image off to the uh, left hand side. Um, you get a type of genre that it's in, and also how many shows you've watched and how many shows you haven't gone through and watched. Uh, navigation through this list again acts just like the movie browser, you move left and right to um, browse through the um, shows. Uh, skipping forward and skipping backwards in the TV show dialog right now is not supported. Uh, we will go through and add something like that later on when you get down to the episode browser um, we will go you, you can go through and skip through um, those episode lists with the forward and reverse keys so um, you have the option to go through and look at various op categories and filter out the information um, on watch recently aired recently added and on deck uh, and recently viewed will always go through and show you the um, episodes that are available um, for those categories. Recently reviewed shows, we'll just go through and filter the list down to recently reviewed shows. Um, then you can also go through and sort and filter the stuff by, by collection, by first letter, by year, and content rating. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the recently um, aired and this will go through and bring you up a list of um, items if there's a list, you can go through and uh, go through and navigate through the images on here. Again, it's standard stuff like the, from the movie browser. You have the indicators of um, the type of content it is, the um, what it's been watched on, watched, the audio format that it's um, been recorded in, and the aspect ratio, and whether it's a high, high definition or uh, standard definition uh, recording. Um, to Browse the individual episodes. We'll go through and take a look at all shows here, and we'll go through and take a look at um, a series that has um, multiple seasons in it. In this case, we'll take a look at the Star Wars Clone Wars. And if the ha series has multiple seasons in it, you can go through and um, select the view all episodes, which will give you a list of all the episodes across all seasons. Um, or you can go through and select um, individual seasons to go through and view. And in our case, we'll just go ahead and select season one here. And then it will give you a list of similar type functionality. It will give you a list of all the um, episodes. It will give you the name of the season and the episode if you've gone through and set up your um, format of your files on the Plex Media server um, correctly so that it can contain, obtain that information. Again, with like the movie browser, you have a context menu capability, so you can long press on a video or hit C on the remote. You'll get the same options, toggle, and download the um, video to the device. All right, and to play the video, you just go ahead and um, hit enter or um, hit the OK button on your remote, and it will go ahead and launch and um, play the video. Um, there are subtitles and stuff are supported for both for movies and videos. So if you've got a series that, um, of subtitles that are out in the subgrip um, SRT format and the Plex knows about them, it will give you the option to um, be able to go through and play a subtitle. It'll give you an, uh, it recognizes whether a video has it or not. You'll get an option up here for a subtitle. Right, the default is none to not play back with a subtitle. If you want it to go through and play back with a subtitle, just select the um, option from the available list of subtitles and it will go through and set this up. You must have your um, follow the Plex Media Server um, naming guides for the subtitle format so make sure you have um, the name of the subtitle um, and the, the language of the subtitle in the name of, of the subtitle file itself. 
um, see the Plex Media Server um, guide on how to go through and set that um, up appropriately. If there is no subtitle, then that um, subtitle option will disappear and will not be, be available to be selected. So that um, brings you up through the available options that you have for playing back um, TV shows. Next we'll take a look at the um, search uh, capability of, um, of Serenity. Certainly does have some capability to do searching across your movie library. Um, currently episodes and TV shows are not supported. Um, only uh, movies are supported um, as a version 1.1.0. .1 um, to search across a movie, you can hit, either hit the search button on your uh, Google TV remote control or you select the menu item um, from the main menu to um, search. So, go ahead and hit enter on here to search. This brings in brings up the built-in um, search um, dialog um, from your Android device. Um, so in this case, we're just going to do a quick search for any um, movie that has the word um, black in it in the, in the movie title. So we hit black and hit enter, and this will go ahead and bring up a list of um, movies that have black. And of course, this in this case we have Black Hawk Down, and we have Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Um, to research again, you can go back and it does go through and remember some keywords that you have gone through and done before. So if you start to type in, it'll give you some information, you type in black again, you can then go down and select, select it and it will go through and bring up the, um, the items that it wanted to go down and search. Response time is basically um, based on how quickly it gets back information back from your Plex Media Server. So um, you can go through and search uh, any keyword that you want to, and it will go through and bring it bring it back up. Um, and that is basically the search functionality. It currently is not integrated into the global search um, functionality for Google TV, but this is planned for a future release. So. And and this uh, covers all the current functionality of Serenity. Um, we'll try to keep this um, tutorial updated as we go through and add additional options. Um, so if you have any feedback, please um, get in contact with us. Um, if you like the um, application, please give us a review up there in the Google Play Store. Thank you.